as our winter weather advisories are in full swing going through either today, this morning, this afternoon or tomorrow. Just depends on how far south or north you live or travel because rain is mixing in today and that's really changing the factor of our snowfall by this afternoon. So this morning we're still with this snow, more of that Star Wars big flake cool snow, uh, but it will lead to a little bit of a messy morning commute. So you want to give yourself extra time to brush off your car and give yourself that extra time out on the roadways. Just take it slow. It's what we say all the time, but it really is a key factor of your morning. This system will continue to move north. You can see that freezing line there. We're going to tap into this snowfall or rainfall rather as we go throughout the afternoon. So let's time it out for you hour by hour on future track. Things can become a bit scattered with this snowfall as we go throughout the morning and by the afternoon, you can see that freezing line pushing northward, reaching the I-96 corridor, giving more rain rainfall south and staying that way even into your dinner hour. So the more north you live, that's why your winter weather advisory lasts longer because you'll be the ones that hold on to snow the latest throughout today and even heading into tomorrow. As we get into the evening, colder air is going to wrap around on this system and that will bring us all back into snow through the overnight and we'll hold on to snow a bit for at least the first half of the day tomorrow. Temperature wise this morning though, we're in the lower 30s. We do have breezy winds. We'll stay with these breezy winds today. As we move this forward, you can see these wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour, even to 40 miles per hour throughout the day today and tomorrow as well. We'll see the strength in those winds uh, for mostly the first half of the day tomorrow. So when we have snow, Blowing, drifting snow can be a thing. And then, of course, just overall kind of a raw day with this rain and colder temperatures. When we factor in that wind, we feel like we are in the 20s. So your Tuesday bus stop planner, just need to plan ahead. Be prepared for a little bit of a wintry mess this morning and really throughout the day. Snow this morning, more of that rain, snow mix and rain later on. And then back to snow through the overnight. We'll keep those breezy winds overnight as temperatures then drop back into the lower 30s. So here's where we pick up Wednesday again. That snow remaining early tomorrow morning. More of a lake enhancement on this, but things will be winding down as we'll have mostly cloudy skies then for mainly the rest of your Wednesday. We only take so much of a break though. Wednesday, overnight to Thursday. We're back into our next system. This is a weaker clipper system. A quick shot of about an inch or less of snowfall uh, mainly early on Thursday. Before we get though, the uh, Thursday snowfall. This is a look at today. We have really taken that rain further north. So most of us in this light blue here, one to three inches of snowfall because that rain is really going to mitigate any of these snow accumulations where we hang on to snow the longest and the most and mainly straight snow. You folks can pick up three to six inches for the day today. Here's a look at that super seven day planner. 34 degrees tomorrow, 33 on Thursday with another shot of that lighter snow. And then things start to pick up again as we head into the weekend. So let's take a look at this. We're going to really dive into this starting tomorrow. We don't want to confuse you on systems today. But as we get into Friday, this next system will be building and developing. And we're staying on the cold side of this system, uh, mainly the entire time. So this is going to give you more straight snowfall, more impactful uh, widespread snow Friday into Saturday, turning then more lake effect on Sunday. So a very snowy weekend. Expect several inches out of this as we get into tomorrow and beyond. We'll really dive into that more and more. Plus Arctic air behind that system. Daytime highs only in the teens next Monday.